All right guys, and today, <clears throat> my cold has gotten worse, but today I have returned to the abandoned mill and the abandoned house, yes. And if it's because you're hearing me super clearly, it's because I'm holding the phone under my hood because it's raining. So, as you can see, there's a lot of construction works going on here. Um, some say the house is going to be demolished. I don't think that's true. Um, but as you can see, it's still standing here. All the windows are boarded up with the metal grid. No alarm beeping this time. No alarm beeping. Um, so yeah, let me just take you around. And as you can see, all this construction, they're building new houses here. Um, there was, a long time ago, a few years ago, a factory here. And this house, like, originally, back when it was first built, 100 years ago, it was a house for the mill. Um, but then the factory was built about 70-something years ago. And this was turned into offices. Um, offices until 2010, when the factory was decommissioned. And then that's when the mill, well, that's when this house, at least, fell into disrepair. Let me zoom in up there. I don't know if you can see, but it just got modern lights up there. It looks like a normal office. You can see some blinds. Um, but yeah, let me just take you round to the other side. Alright guys, and here we are again. This is the back side of the house. As you can see, door up there. It's raining, so I'm trying to cover my phone. Um, the mill's there. I shall do that shortly. Um, but yeah, this house is... I'll put all the history in the description. So go look in the description and you'll see, well, I'll see what I can find information-wise about this house. So now, guys, I am going to end this video. I've got to make these videos quick because I can only record five minutes worth of footage. So I've got to try and get this house and that mill and another house, yes, another house, in this five minutes of footage. So, yeah, I'll see you guys, uh, well, in a minute.